BTC, which people are still calling Bitcoin, which I'm not calling Bitcoin anymore, is squeezing into an important spot right here. So let's look at the technicals and then let's go over what's happening with the whale wallets, which there is, well, there's old wallets being activated. Not like the original Satoshi wallets, that's the big thing that everyone's looking out for, but maybe some of them. There's some old whale wallets getting activated right now. Um, yeah, so please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Um, yeah, so let's just look back. I'm on the daily candles here. And then you can see, like, this whole year, we have broken out of the long-term ribbon, which everyone's expecting, like, this huge blow-off top. And you can see, like, the last couple blow-off tops, we went out of the top of the ribbon a bit. And this time we went out of the top and we hit it twice. So the question this time is, are we gonna hit it a third time? Because I think most people are expecting this cycle to sort of terminate February, March, maybe something like mid next year or mid this year um, here. And this is the target here is like yeah, around 70 if you blow out, something like that. Around 70, say March, April. Um, and I painted that, I painted that breakout a bunch of times, like especially two months ago, but now I have flipped super bearish on BTC. And this is following the Craig Wright court case. And I there's several legal actions and several uh, trading, I guess, actions that I expect to see soon, which is old wallets being opened up and traded. Um, although Craig said that he's not going to try to trade a bunch of stuff on the open market. I don't know what he's trying to do, but we've seen a lot of old wallets the past week or two open up and be traded, um, but not the original huge like Satoshi wallets haven't been opened up yet. So there's no proof that that's what's going on yet. It's still a bunch of speculation. But uh, yeah, anyway, the court case ruled in Craig's favor. And Craig Wright is like, yeah, I created Bitcoin. I have patents on the BCH chain. I have like over 100 patents on all kinds of blockchain and, you know, trading stuff. Like he's ready to bring out a ton of patents. He's ready to open lawsuits against people that illegally copied the entire Bitcoin chain. Uh, he's declaring the BSV, Batoshi, <laughs> Batoshi, the Satoshi Bitcoin vision version of the chain um, as the original Bitcoin that matches the white paper, which is pretty freaking obvious if you go read the white paper and look at the chain. Um, but yeah, anyways, the BTC chain does not have scalable blocks. They got rid of the end timers. So you can't put times on your contracts. They got rid of the scripts. So you can't do algorithms and math inside of the blockchain. Um, so BTC is basically just a broken version of Bitcoin. Uh, the core developers did not understand like half of the stuff of how Bitcoin works and they literally just screwed it up. Like this is not Bitcoin. BTC is not Bitcoin. I will very boldly say that <clears throat> I've studied the crap out of it for like the last three months. And anyway, just on the technicals on the BTC chain, I was calling for a breakdown two weeks ago through here. Um, and now we've done a pretty interesting consolidation pattern and we're pressing down on this channel again. So we have a channel here around 45, 46. And if this breaks, it's going to get real ugly. <clears throat> so the upside target, as I said, would be 70-ish, say like April. Uh, the downside target, here's the pattern that I expect to happen right now. As we break under this, we come back up and test it from the bottom, which is going to be Jan 12th, January 12th at 46. We come up from underneath and hit 46 on Jan 12th. We're in big trouble because that leads to no support underneath. Huge downside open space down here. And there's a reaction area in this area here around 25 on what, towards the end of February? 25 around the end of Feb, and then the next support is, and that's not going to hold, and boom, the next support is around 14, and that's around March something, end of March. So 
This is what I expect to happen to Bitcoin is a massive downside move for the next three months um, at exactly these levels that I just said. So anyway, um, if you have not researched the court case uh, between Craig Wright and the Climate Estate, go look the court case up. Go look at my uh, Satoshi playlist. I have like seven videos covering all this stuff. Um, if you have not read or understood the white paper on Bitcoin, go read it. Go look up the Theory of Bitcoin videos. Um, go look at the code. Understand how the thing actually works because it's not... Half the stuff you've heard about Bitcoin is completely false. Like, Bitcoin has, was designed as a legal a legal contracting system under the law, like common law in Britain and EU and American law for any kind of legal contracts between people. There's no computer smart contracts. It's a bunch of BS. It's normal contracts between humans. And the, you know, the most common of which is cash transactions. So the whole coin part of the name, it has to do with cash transactions, which is just a normal legal contract. Um, but it's a public ledger. So the other huge thing is a ton of the money that has flooded into Bitcoin over the last several years is money laundering crap, like illegal drug crap, or whatever other illegal operations. Um, and those people that think that this is like some sort of encrypted system where they can hide from the government uh, are going to be in for a big surprise because this is a public ledger system. And identities are firewalled, they're pseudo-anonymous, but you have transactions that are public and you have identity on the blockchain. And so the miners, the nodes, can respond directly to court orders, they can freeze your assets, they can move your bitcoins around, responding to government orders. Like this thing is not separate from the government. It's designed to be legally compliant. It's designed to operate as cash. So most of the stories that people have told you about Bitcoin are lies and that's what's coming out now. And anyone who has a bunch of illegal money in Bitcoin right now should be terrified because this is happening this year. It's happening right now. The court case is over. It's all happening now. And the downside targets that I just painted are weak. It can go a lot lower than that. Anyway, uh, if you want to see a BTC bear, uh, come watch my channel, but I'm not bearish on Bitcoin. This is not Bitcoin. I'm bearish on BTC. It's a fraudulent copy of the Bitcoin database with a bunch of broken stuff. They broke the end timers, so you can't put time lengths on your contracts. They broke the block size so that you cannot scale the freaking thing. That's the entire point of the cryptography in Bitcoin is a binary tree to hash the block so you can have huge blocks that are scalable. That's all broken in BTC. Like the core developers don't have a clue what they're doing. They don't understand how it works. <clears throat> and the script, they they destroyed the script so you can't do uh, math operations and like, um, you know, dependent logic like in your contracts and stuff like that. So like half of the freaking stuff that Bitcoin does does not work in BTC. It's not scalable. It's broken. It's a fraudulent branch. This is all going to come out this year. Uh, I'm surprised a lot of people are not talking about it now, but um, downside, downside, downside on Bitcoin. <clears throat> and there's so much money in here, like this is going to affect the general market when it comes down. But it's just a matter of time, like how long it takes to come down. So that's why we're watching the technicals. This week is going to be a very, very important week to see which way this thing moves. Um, but yeah, if you're trading Bitcoin, research this thing, understand how it actually works in Good luck, happy trading.